at Sally Katabe's other house. 14117. Up in Laurel, Maryland. She needs to know what the condition of her roof is. Looks like the uh, slate gray, three tab certainteed, a little bit of red in the uh, gray shingle. Um, all these shingles are hanging out over, no drip edge, so they're all bending down, which means they're going to come loose and fly off. Same thing in the gutters, you got them all bent down, coming into the, uh, dropping in the gutters. You got a lot of them lifting up there, which means they weren't installed correctly or it's starting to go. All right, gutters have lots of debris in them. Got a decent amount of aggregate sitting down here. Uh, the ends of these shingles, missing most of their aggregate. Got lots of holes in the roof. Right here, right there. Whole line of holes. And the shingles don't seem to have been adhered. In other words, they're starting to pop up. So I'm guessing this roof is probably about 10, 15 years old. Um, gutters, all the attachments are rusted. And again, lots of shingles look like they're popping up. These shingles up top here are cracked. Somebody's put some butter on them, keep them cleaned up. Valleys look okay. And again, crazy overlay. Can't tell if it's two shing two rows of shingles or not, but again, a lot of these are lifting up. So it just didn't stick. And lots of holes in this roof up here. Whole roll of shingles here. Hey, same thing here. Somebody caulked all this in. You can see all the aggregates sitting on there, so it's definitely washing down the roof still. This is all filled in. You got all these places where they put caulking in to patch holes. There's scuffs. Shingles missing down here. Lots of scuffs. Holes. This whole row, bunch of holes. Discoloration's no big deal. And then you got more lifting going up there. So, all these shingles, you need to replace them, or they need to be caulked down. Nice little roof here. And this is very rusted, so it'd be a good idea to sand it, paint it, and you don't have to worry about it for a while. Okay, rear house, you got one bow. You got an apron flash and tucked up in behind the uh, siding black no big deal step flashing on the rear house for this little section okay come around this side faces in front of the street you get right side you get this little area lots of apron flashing Brent all across there. Got one valley. Here's your ridge. I've got another ridge. I've got another ridge up on this little bump out. And on this side, you can see you got one ridge, two, three front of the house, you see all the different roof pitches, you got this little bump out window down here, all your different A-frames, this side, you get another ridge on the back, on the left side up here, on this A-frame, you got this long piece, lots of apron flashing.
and we redid the siding. Lots of step flashing up here. We've got another valley here. Got a ridge on that bump out. This crazy little thing. And more ridge up here. Okay, up on the roof. If you're facing the house from the street, the left side looks entirely better than the right side of the house. We still got lots of places where there's holes. They've puttered, uh, they put caulk on everything. Caulked the end of that instead of replacing it. You can see that a little better now. It's just too much damage, too much repairs. They caulk this, but it needs to be replaced. It's rusted. It's just gonna fall apart over time. They obviously put some of this rhino vent up, looks good. Put it up here, over on the other roof over there. So, did some stuff, but they just did it to sell it. They didn't do it to uh, live in it. Again, down through the valleys, you get lots of dings, cuts, tears, little holes.